Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to my new Let's Play. That's right, we're going back to the Mega Man Game Boy series, because I uh, needed something short to bridge between projects, and I figured, well, why not? We have another Mega Man Game Boy game to do, so let's go ahead and do that. So, as usual, um, this game is kind of uh, a follow-up, or not really a follow-up, but... It came in between Mega Man 4 and Mega Man 5 of the main, like, numbered installments. And it kind of features uh, elements of uh, both of those games in the form of the Robot Masters. So it uses, basically, four of the Robot Masters from 4, the, the four that weren't used in Mega Man 3 for the Game Boy. And it also features uh, four of the Robot Masters from Mega Man 5, uh, the upcoming NES title, which is kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much what we got here in this game as far as the general story and plot. Uh, there's a worldwide robot expo, and Dr. Wily, up to his old tricks again, uh, decides to use radio control to take control of four of the robots at the expo, which just so happened to be the um, robots that were, you know, in Mega Man 4, and uh, tries to take over the world with them, and yeah. Dr. Wily really needs to get a uh, better job and a better use of his time, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So, just looking at the intro here, after the intro finishes, we'll go ahead and get started. I know that um, I've been kind of uh, teasing Mega Man 11 for a really long time now. I, I kind of actually had an intention of uh, playing through that at some point, but just never really got around to that, unfortunately. But... I'll get to it in time. I'm kind of biding my time with it just to, uh, you know, just kind of wait until I'm ready for it, especially since I know that it's actually kind of one of the more difficult Mega Man games that are out there now, so I'm definitely trying to uh, be prepared for that before I get around to that one. Mega Man, Dr. Wily has sent his most powerful robots across the world to combat them. I have invented a new machine to make power items for you. But, to make the items, we need to use special energy items, called P-Chips. Collect as many P-Chips as you can and bring them back to the lab. The more chips you collect, the better the item I can make for you. Uh, so this is actually a precursor to the uh, shops that we actually get in Mega Man uh, 7. Uh, so um, you can actually, um, you know, do that in this game, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so we'll need to be on the lookout for some P-Chips. Um, there are some items you can get in between stages. A majority of them are just like tanks and one-ups and stuff that will basically restore your energy and, you know, give you some extra health packs and stuff. Uh, but there is actually an item that uh, we will be trying to save up for, and it's uh, actually the Energy Balancer. So we'll definitely try to get that. If there's anything else that's worth mentioning, I'll uh, try to get that as well. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get things started here. As I said before, we get the other four Robot Masters in Mega Man 4 that did not appear in Mega Man 3 for the Game Boy. So we have Toad Man, we have Bright Man, we have Pharaoh Man, and we have Ring Man. Uh, so the four Robot Masters that we don't get are Dust Man, Dive Man, Drill Man, all the D Robot Masters, and uh, Skull Man. So um, let's go ahead and start with uh, Toad Man. Toad Man, uh, from what I remember, is actually the easiest... Um, he was at least the easiest in uh, Mega Man 4. So uh, we'll go ahead and go to his stage first. I think that'll be the uh, way to go. So yeah, we'll, we'll probably do about like two Robot Masters uh, per stage or per video rather. So uh, that'll be our plan of attack here. And... Uh, Notice that whenever I charge my Mega Buster, whenever I use it, Mega Man actually moves backwards a little bit. Um, that's a little bit of knockback that you get, or kickback, I guess is a more appropriate term. And that is something you do actually have to look out for in this game, because uh, that can kind of throw you off at times, being just like randomly kicked back uh, through one of your normal attacks. So be very careful with that. Uh, make sure that you are not, like, at the edge of the uh, platform when you do that. Otherwise, you might uh, you might end up uh, pushing yourself in the uh, into the pit or something. And that's something you obviously do not want. Okay, 
just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to fall into any things there. Uh, so right there, those are P-chips. Um, I think you can find P-chips just through, like, normal enemy drops as well. But uh, throughout the stages, you'll find... Uh, you'll find uh, some um, P-chips just kind of, like, on ledges and stuff, and you can get them along the way. So normally, I like to play the... If he threw his eyes at me. Ah, damn. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Ah, it looks like we have to start at the very beginning of the stage, too, which is a little unfortunate. So, yeah, we'll have to find a way to uh, combat that snail a little better. See, we actually got some P-chips right there from an enemy drop. Now, you won't get, like, the same amount of denominations that you would from, like, uh... Um, ones that are just, like, laid out on the stage. But still, um, every little bit will help. And even if you, like, uh, take a death or something, you'll, uh... Uh, you'll keep whatever you find. So that's kind of a good way you can kind of grind. If the game's becoming, like, too hard for you, or something of that nature, you can just kind of... Go to certain easier stages and try to grind some pea chips or something. If that's something you want to do, obviously. Obviously not required, if that's rather not how you would not want to spend your time. Okay, so we're about where we actually died before. Oh, it's here, yeah. I'm actually being a little more clever about how I do this. I'm staying close to the edge of the ledge so I can just jump back if I need to. And yay, the slide! The slide is also back in this game as well. And you'll also see uh, letters as you go throughout the stages. Uh, these letters, as you know from the main Mega Man games, they will spell the word Beat. Uh, Beat is a bird robot that actually helps you out in uh, some of the Mega Man games. And uh, Beat is back in this game, and if you find the four letters in all of these stages, you will get Beat to help you out, so uh, be sure to be on the lookout for those, because can, Beat can make things a lot easier uh, as you go throughout the game, and that's something you probably want to do if like you're maybe not the best at Mega Man games. I know, for instance, I am definitely someone who do definitely does prefer getting like you know some help along the way. How the hell am I supposed to get through here? Okay, there we go. That's how. Just got to be a little more patient, I guess. Speaking of, uh... I want to get some health here. I'll wait for the fish to... Oh my god, he almost actually got me right there. We are dealing with a little bit of lag, but it is a Game Boy game, so... Okay, I think we are getting kind of close to the end here. The Game Boy stages, I wouldn't say, are really that long. And you can actually see... Uh, oh, actually, you can. I was going to say you can see what your P-chips are here. Oh, you can. We have 30. Um, okay, how do I... Okay, there we go. So how do we get the hell out of this menu? Ooh, hello, 1-Up. Nice to see you there. Oh, come on. Uh, I was expecting him to use the bombs. That's why I kind of jumped again, but apparently I was a little mistaken about what he was going to do. Okay, so we do have to go through this area again. Thankfully, those birds really won't bother you as long as you keep moving. That pit will, though, if you fall into it, so be careful of that. Ouch. See, like, that pit right there, that could really throw you off if you're not careful. So I'm going to hope for some health right here. Nope, just more pea chips, which isn't bad. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind getting pea chips, it's just... 
Health would be nice too, so I can actually, you know, face the boss and, you know, beat the level. Really? That's a little annoying. I don't want to be one hit from death when I get to the damn mini boss again. Oh, come on! Ugh, oh, damn. I, I really don't want to die on this level. I have to restart the whole thing. I mean, if I do, it's not the worst thing in the world, because at least I'll, you know, get all the pea chips and everything again, which is nice, but still. If I could avoid game overing and having to do stuff again, that's definitely something I would prefer. Come on, give me some health. <laughs> I don't think I'm asking for too much. Literally just asking for health. See, why isn't it giving me health items here? It keeps giving me pea chips, that's something, I guess. Uh oh! Okay, I thought I saw something flashing in there. I just didn't think it would actually be, like, something. But, hey. Guess that shows you that sometimes... Oh. Can I go this way? Oh, no, I can't. Well, I actually, uh... Oh, no! Oh... That would have been so nice to get. Now I have to basically do Toad Man one shot. Which again, Toad Man's not hard, it's just... It's been a while, so his... Just like a random jump could catch me off guard like that. Yeah, see, I wasn't prepared for that. Toad Man really is easy, though, so that's a thing. Well... Now that we at least uh, saw all of that, I am going to just very quickly cut back there, so uh, I will be right back, guys. Okay, I actually got the energy that time, and I have an extra life to work with, so this should be a lot easier. Honestly, like I said before, Toad Man is not hard. It was just getting, like, re-familiar with his pattern again, because it, again, has been a while. Oh shoot, well, that was my fault for being stupid there. See? Yeah, he's really not hard. <laughs> Honestly, those hits I did take were kind of embarrassing, but still. You just uh, slide under him, shoot him, and make sure you shoot him before he does his rain flush attack, because that will do significant damage to you, so you gotta be careful of that. So with that, we get uh, Toad Man's ability, which is, uh, like I said, Rain Flush. It's basically a screen nuke. And I believe you also get the uh, Rush Coil for doing this as well, yeah. So there we go. That's uh, pretty much it for... Uh, that robot master so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one um now when you finish a stage you can actually uh, go back to stage select or you can go to the lab which we're gonna go to the lab just to see what we got here we have 72 p chips so we basically doubled our numbers uh on my second attempt through that stage Mega Man, did you get the p chips yes i did so um here you can actually see the uh different items you can get they're kind of flashing up there uh, so here you have an E-Tank. E-Tanks are awesome. They're basically uh, health refills. So if you have one and you need some health, you can just pop one and get all your health back. You have a Weapon Energy Tank, which uh, basically does that for one of your weapons. You actually have a quarter of an E-Tank, which this basically, uh, once you collect four of these, you get a full E-Tank. 
So if you don't want to buy, like, the full ones, you can actually buy these segments. I think you can buy them for cheaper, too, if I remember correctly. And then you have a super tank. Uh, the super tank uh, basically refills everything. So this could be something good to save up for once you've gotten all the other items. Uh, then, of course, you have a one-up, and you have these other two things. Uh, this is the energy balancer. All of your weapons will be immediately recharged. Oh, actually, no, that's just a... Um... No, okay, never mind. That's not the energy balancer. But that does, uh, this does basically, if you have, um, to, uh, refill your energy, you can use this. And that's kind of the interesting thing about this game, is that, uh, energy does not recharge in between stages, so, um, you actually do have to manage your energy a bit better in this game, but this is an item that you can do to just kind of, uh, do all, uh, do all of that at once, which is kind of nice. Good for, like, kind of the end game, for example. Uh, this right here, this is the energy balancer, which uh, whenever you pick up an energy pack, it will basically refill um, whatever weapon needs it the most, pretty much. So with this, with this last item, the weapon with the lowest energy level will automatically be refilled when you pick up a weapon capsule. You need 150 P chips for this item. So we uh, don't have enough, but uh, we're already like almost halfway there, so we'll get that in time. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about getting anything. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, leave and come back later. Those are basically the items that uh, you can get, though. And uh, once you uh, beat all the stages, um, or beat a stage, you can see the letters, which means we did get the B, so we're done with that. And now we can move on to the next Robot Master, which uh, we got the Rain Flush ability from Toad Man. Uh, Rain Flush is actually the ability that's strong against Bright Man, so we're going to be going for Bright Man next. That's kind of the cool thing about Mega Man games, is once you actually beat a boss, the game, in theory, will actually get a bit easier, since you can actually uh, pick which Robot Master you want to go for next, and uh, every Robot Master essentially has a weakness that you can take advantage of, and it's usually one of the other Robot Masters that you'll find in the game, so... That, that's something I've always really enjoyed about, like, just the Mega Man, like, general game design, just having that little formula of... You know, once you beat a boss, you actually have the capabilities of beating the next boss a lot easier. And I was afraid of that. Seriously, the knockback in Mega Man games can be quite annoying. But what else is new? So I'm gonna... Yeah, I was ready for that that time. That's another good thing about Mega Man that you'll learn as you go throughout the game is, you know, you'll learn how to, uh, basically, uh, avoid upcoming obstacles and stuff, which is nice. So yeah, we actually got a quarter of an energy tank right there. That's what those uh, little quarters are that we found in the shop. It's kind of similar to the Zelda series when you think about it, like, you know, heart pieces, getting heart containers. Oh, shoot! I was not ready for that. I really was not ready for that. I wasn't ready for that. See, I was ready for that enemy to respawn, but thankfully, like, the enemy didn't respawn right there, which is nice. Okay, that's actually interesting that he actually does that. Okay, so this is what we do. We do that. Okay, interesting take on the uh, moving blocks of other Mega Man games. Need to turn on the lights to do that this time. this up. Oh, there's a way I can salvage this. Nope. Damn it. It's like that one-up was like kind of a trap in a sense. 
Uh, maybe not really. Like, I mean, if you knew what you're doing, you can obviously get the one up and also move on without any issue. I just messed that up. So actually, I want to try something here. Do I want to actually jump here? Yes, I do. Okay. I really want to get those pea chips, but I'll, I won't worry about it too much. Okay, I got a little greedy right there, admittedly. Ooh, I'm actually glad I got that. I love a good one-up. A good health pack too. Okay, so let's try this section again. So what I want to do is I want to just keep going down. See, that's how you avoid that obstacle. This will probably be like the halfway point if I know if I know my Mega Man games. We've probably reached the halfway point by this point. Okay, so I'm going up here now. Let's go back to power or power blaster, pea shooter, mega buster, whatever you want to call it. Ugh. Lag actually kind of helped me right there. <laughs> Thank you, lag. Thank you. Can't believe I'm thanking lag. What world is this? What year is this? <laughs> from I remember these from like the vanilla Mega Man 4 So I'm going to try uh, fighting Bright Man without his weakness first, since I do have some 1-ups to burn. <laughs> I, love how just, I love how it looked like he just punched me right there. Okay. His pattern's honestly not too bad, though. It's just, you know, j jump over his shots and then slide under him when he gets there. We'll go ahead and use his weakness just to destroy him. Then we'll end this video and uh, call it a day. And there we go. Pretty simple. Just a matter of just jumping around and killing them. That's really about it. So yeah, that's gonna do it for uh, not only that boss, but also this video. I'm not sure how we're doing for pea chips, but I'll check on that before I end the video. So here we get the 
Flash Stopper. So we'll uh, use that to our advantage next time. There's the password if you want to basically play the game along with me. Go to the lab. We have 114. We're still not quite there, but after the next level, we should be able to get there. We did get some pea chips, but uh, I think we're going to ignore that for now. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time when we uh, basically take on the other two uh, robot masters that we have here. We have Pharaoh Man and Ring Man. Which one will we take on next? You'll have to wait and see. This has been Slim Kirby. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.